Jersey Craft Beer, the show. Cheers. Cheers. So this is our first one, and uh, we're pretty excited for it. We're gonna make this short and sweet. Tell you guys all about New Jersey Craft Beer and what's going on. Um, I'm Mike. I'm the president of New Jersey Craft Beer. I'm Heather. I'm the vice president of North Jersey. And I'm Luke. <laughs> just Luke, yes. No, so we're just going to talk about New Jersey Craft Beer, what we're all about, what we do, and about some fun events that are coming up. This is the first of um, what we hope to be many of many episodes um, with guests and celebrities and beer nerds and members and you name it in the industry and outside. We want everyone to come and have a good time and uh, drink some beers. What are we drinking, Luke? This is a... Uh... One of Bolero Snorts, super rare non-release beers. Mm -hmm. It's a rum barrel aged imperial sweet potato ale. Very good. Very good. Wax sealed. It's a lovely. Mm -hmm. This is before they went pro. We'll get to that in the in a little bit. So I know that most of you guys are familiar with New Jersey craft beer, but if not, um, what are we about? What do we do? We talk about beer. We talk about where to find beer, where to drink beer, who's got what on tap, events, and we try to help you guys by saving you money with our membership club and getting you to go out and enjoy beers and bring your friends, family, wives, boyfriends, husbands, kids, uncles, you name it. And uh, we want everyone to go out and have a good time. There's so many places around New Jersey that are, uh, you know, offering cool stuff and doing different things from North Jersey all the way down south and both coasts. And we're just trying to get you guys out. Who doesn't want to save money? Who doesn't want to go out for beers? Save money. And go to new places and try new yeah, it's all bars about, and yeah. beers and all of that. It's all about the exploration, you know? Like, the whole reason of this this thing is because we want to know where to find beer wherever we go. And if you're in Sparta going snowboarding, you want to know where to drink beers? Cool. And if you're surfing in Seattle City, you want to know where to drink beers afterwards. So, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. If you want to get a discount and go to a baseball game, you do that <laughs> now too. Two baseball teams in the club now. It's amazing. The Blue Claws and the um, River Sharks. River Sharks, yes. Yep. Down in uh, Camden. So, good stuff. We have uh, lots of different things going on. And we're going to, you know, talk about them and, you know, see what we can come up with. And we're going to drink some crazy beers because this one's about to kick and we're going to have a, a couple others. So, cheers. 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 So, I think it's time for some hoppy beers. Stone and Joy by May 17th, which is tomorrow. So it's pretty much the last day to drink this beer. Terrib you terrible, got this, man. terrible dogfish head bottle openers. <laughs> this is one of the Enjoy Buys. Uh, they had a couple that came out to Jersey, right? We mm -hmm. had two or three of them. This is the third one, I believe. Third one, yeah. Yeah, yeah one of them oh. made it to Philly but didn't come to Jersey. What a beautiful sound. And uh, the other two came, came to Jersey. Pretty interesting, super fresh hops and, you know. Super multiple different hops. Yeah, piney and delicious. Yeah. It's like you took a hoppy beer and threw a pine cone in it. Exactly. Cheers. Thank you for us. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here you go. But you're welcome. Yeah, he's, he's home already. He's what else are we doing on a Thursday night? Cheers. 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 <laughs> Out of our sweet New Jersey craft beer pint glasses. These are nice glasses. And hopefully the hops will nucleate a little bit with a fun little nucleation point at the bottom. Good Nuclate. times. <laughs> so we're going to talk about breweries. There's a lot of new breweries in Jersey. We've got a 24, I believe, production breweries now. It's um, crazy. And more on the way. Um, this year, we just we just launched a couple of breweries here in Jersey. Not we, but <laughs> New Jersey um, welcomed a whole bunch of new breweries like Bolero Snor. We talked about them before. They... Uh, they're a Jersey brewery with two flag. There are two flagship beers, and they make some really amazing um, one-offs that hopefully we'll be able to try in the market soon. Um, if you find at some fun events, uh, they do a lot of casks with interesting things. I had the um, the uh, espresso, espresso, lemon, uh, espresso and vanilla beans. Yeah, vanilla bean it's espresso awesome. blackhorn, which is a mm. a really hoppy, rich black 
lager with, and then they aged it on vanilla beans, and, and it was just, it was delicious. Flounder is coming up from Hillsboro. It's a nano brewery. Um, they're right around a, but they, they can open, but they're not ready. They're still working on their stuff. It should be open very shortly. Love those guys. They're going to make some fun nano beers for that area. Um, so the greater Hillsboro, Somerset yeah. based area. Um, Pinelands, we just read about our friends down in, um, Pine, in um, Little Egg Harbor that are going to be opening shortly. We, it's been like a couple years and all this other drama they had with, with um, you know, building permits and town issues, but they finally were able to open. They're going to be opening what they said like end of August, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I've had many of their beers in the past and they're all, they're all quite good. Um, there's some growlers over there from Pinelands too. We should give it back to them soon. Um, they're just, they're empty, they're empty. Uh, <laughs> and Heather, Heather can tell you about uh, the next one coming up from Tom's River. Oh yeah, Rinduin, um, it's a English, Irish, Scottish ales that they're concentrating on. Uh, which is really great, I think, because you don't see a whole lot of that happening lately. It's not a very popular style, so... It's a hoppy world right now. It's a hoppy world that we love, but I think I'm excited to get some variety into there, into the mix and I'm really excited to see what they're going to be doing. Um, they're starting out with a 24 barrel yeah, system. It's a, it's a big, big space. Big space. 24, 25, something like that. Big space. Great bar. Um, the whole pub tasting room area is going to be fantastic. It's going to um, be nice. The, uh, the builder's a good guy. Yeah. The, the guy who <laughs> built the bar there was Jeremy, who's one of the brewers. Jeremy's father, who's one of the brewers from Carton. So Jeremy, who one of the brewers from Carton, his father built that their bar. So it's a really nice camaraderie going on there. And if you've been to Carton, you've seen his work as well, because he did the bar at Carton and a lot of the other fun stuff. So yeah. it's a good beer community. Mm -hmm. We're excited for that. You should check them out on social media. They're pretty active, too. Um, Man must be good with his hands. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. God, that was horrible. Um, so, River Horse is moving from Lambertville to Ewing. All this is on the website. If you go to NewJerseyCraftBeer.com and click on the Breweries and Brew Pubs tab up top, you'll see an active list of all those current breweries and things that are about to launch. And we're going to talk to you about a couple of those in no particular order. We have a whole bunch of breweries that are slated to launch coming soon, like Bulkhead Brewing, which we just found out about this week, um, in the... Ocean, Monmouth County area, maybe Tom's River, Lakewood kind of area. We'll see what goes on. They have a Kickstarter project. You can check them out. Um, Departed Souls, looking for a space right now, featuring a, an award-winning gluten-free IPA. Um, there's Garden State Beer. That's going to be launching, hopefully, down in um, Egg Harbor as well. Um, going to be a smaller brewery down that way. Uh, Glastown Brewery. Uh, we just posted an article for them recently. Dennis from the team went down there and hung out with those guys. It's an old airport hangar down in uh, Millville um, area, which is known for glass making and all this other stuff. So that's why nice. it's Glastown. It's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Lower Forge. That's hopefully um, they're on the radar down in Burlington County as well. Spellbound, which I just heard about it this week as well from Burlington County towards Mount Holly area. They're looking for a space. And last but not least... Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> our, friend, our friend Gretchen. Everybody knows... Everyone, everyone knows Gretchen from uh, <laughs> the famous beer community here in Jersey. Gretchen was in... Um, Gretchen was a brewer at Basil Teas and she worked all over the place and she's done a whole bunch of cool stuff. She has a lot of amazing beers that are out there and she's um, working on her brewery called Little Dog Brewing and it's going to be a very interesting concept. So yeah, lots of breweries on the horizon. If anyone knows of any more that are going to that direction, let's talk them up and let us know. Um, we would love to hear from you guys. Any new brew pubs opening, things like... Oh, the Voorhees uh, Iron Hill is slated to open um, whenever they're ready. That's being built right now. So there'll be two Iron Hills in Jersey, Maple Shade, and then Voorhees. Um, and yeah. Some, there's a lot of brewery news too, everyone can kind of figure that stuff out themselves, but this is what's happening. You can also check out a lot of these articles on people expanding and things like that on, on New Jersey Craft Beer as well as Beer Stained Letter, just Google it. Um, Jeff's website is a pretty great resource for finding out about good Jersey 
brewery news. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about this thing in June 9th uh, down in the spot in uh, Point Pleasant Beach. Basically it's all about Jersey beers, Jersey people hanging out on a lazy Sunday afternoon. It starts at 12 and it ends at 10 that night. Um, bands are playing all day. It's a There's long a, party. Long party. There's an outdoor space. You can hang it outside. There's going to be a whole bunch of cool people hanging out. Bring your friends, bring your families. Kids are obviously welcome. Um, if you have kids, every table has a TV that um, you can control the channel and the volume. It's kind of terrible, but kind of wonderful. So if you have children like I do, um, not these guys, my, I have actual children. Not little um, children. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a great, wonderful place to go. Um, and they're very family friendly and the wait stuff is fantastic. The bartenders are great. So I'd recommend going as I will. June 1st, um, the weekend before we uh, report the shore, um, there's going to be a charity event through Mainstream, which is an um, organization that um, has its occupational therapy and um, other, other types of therapy that use equine-based uh, assistance to, to help um, um, uh, how special you needs special children. Need, especially children and adults. It's a great, great organization. They do some amazing work there. And uh, they're holding a um, food truck and beer pairing event on June 1st. And it's going to be out of this world. There's about there's six trucks, food trucks, and about eight or nine beers paired with, with them in various ways. Um, there's going to be a bottle pull, raffle. There's going to be... Um, um, Entertainment, I think a DJ, a dance floor, it's gonna be fantastic. It's on this farmy barn warehouse kind of place, so it's, it's gonna be really great. Um, and all the profits for that are obviously going to back to mainstream, so everything mainstream. is, uh, you mm -hmm. know, being given back to the, the children and adults who really could use it more than, you know, other right. people and, you know, to care for the farm and the animals that are living on the farm and everything else. So, mm -hmm. again, you can check it out on the NewJerseyCraftBeer.com. We'll be there. Actually, the three of us will be there. We'll all be there. We'll be pouring beers and talking beers. So if you're there, check it out. Um, it's, uh, if you search on the site, if it's not at the top page or whatever, search for a mainstream. M-A-N-E, like as in a horse. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Um, and then I wanted to talk about our friends over at Oast House Hops Farm. There's a hop farm in Burlington County who um, we've been recently talking. Mean, we've been friends with them now for about... Ever. Two and a half years now, and uh, this, like recently, what was it, two weeks ago, um, they finally announced they're doing a CSA program, which is like really huge and really cool. A CSA for hops, like it's kind of awesome. And so their deal is basically you buy into the CSA. If you don't know what CSA it's community supported agriculture. Um, you buy into a share, a, a share of the crops. Oast House is doing this, this CSA. Um, and NJCB members are able to get a 5% discount on that CSA, so you should check it out at, um, on New Jersey Craft Beer. You'll be able to see um, or go to directly to the, um, you know, Oast House and just Google it up or check them out on Twitter and Facebook. So Heather brought this beer by Three Floyds, Pride and Joy, Mild Ale. Sure. She uh, <laughs> is lucky enough to get shipments of Three Floyds all the time. And, like, <laughs> Have a guy. None, none yeah. of us. So that's what we're drinking now. We are. It's got a little bitter flavor to it. It does. It's very similar to a pale ale. It's it a, is. It is. I think they call it a pale ale. It's a mild. Mild ale. It's kind of bitter. It's kind of like an ESB sort of British mild kind of thing going on. They would it's make up their own beer name. Yeah, of course they would. <laughs> their art is beautiful, though. Their art is just, you know, yes. for every beer they ever had, their art is just uh, amazing. Ooh. Gumball head. Dude smoking a cigarette. It's a cat smoking a cigarette. What other events do we have going on? Oh, there's, um, well, we're not going to be there, unfortunately, but um, it's the same day as Saver. If anyone hasn't heard of Saver, Saver is this pretty awesome event in New York this year. Last year it was in D.C., I think. Um, this year it's in New York City. It's over at the, uh, in like 20s, somewhere in the 20s or whatever. Um, it's a pretty interesting event where, um, Breweries from all over the, the country, American craft breweries, are going to be flown in from all over Upland Brewing, Crooked Stave, and, uh, you know, Dogfish, and, and our friends at Kane will be there as well, and the only Jersey brewery representing. And, um, and everything is paired with a, a, a beautiful gourmet 
uh, each beer is paired with a gourmet dish, and everything is you know there's a whole it it it's it's out there. It, it's pretty interesting. You can check it out on the site. Uh, you know, it's just gonna be a fun night on June fifteenth, which is the same day coincidentally, unfortunately, as the Brouhaha event down in Six Flags in Jackson. NJCB members, if you're there, please stop by the Six uh, the uh, brew uh, the Beerheads, who is the group that runs it. Stop by their table. You'll get a free gift. Trust me. I know this. Um, <laughs> and uh, what else is coming up? Philly Beer Week soon. Philly Beer June. Week. We got the American Homebrew Association thing coming up, the Beer Bloggers Conference the coming end up. And the next week, right? Right after Memorial Day weekend? It starts on like a Thursday, oh, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Thursday night kickoff. So Philly Beer Week. Philly Beer Week, there's some stuff happening in New Jersey. Yeah, there is. For that. Um, Uno Hamilton. Uno's yeah. Hamilton. Uno Maple Shade. Maple Shade. And yeah. Deptford. And Deptford. Mm -hmm. Some uh, fantastic events uh, coming up. Please check the website for those events. They're incredible. Um, we will try to go to as many as humanly possible. So yeah, there's a lot. Out. There's a Founders event a at Hamilton with KBS and yes. Devil Dancer and you name it. And then you go the opposite route and go for all day IPA, whatever you want. Down in Maple Shade, they're doing a Jersey night. They're doing a Belgian night. They're doing a you name it night. Keg and Kitchen in Westmont. Um, they're also doing a mm -hmm. Philly Beer Week thing. Mm -hmm. the Beer Bloggers Conference. I don't know if any of you guys are going, but it's in Boston this year. It's over in... Um, late July. We got uh, the AHA thing, the American Home Brewer Association um, yep. conference down in Philly as well. So <laughs> Philly's really um, doing some interesting stuff this year. Um, and we had um, Girls Pint Out, which is a new the organization, organization for women to go out and have delicious craft beers together and kind of support each other and, and introduce other women to craft beer um, in an environment that's really fun and informative. That's a pretty perfect way of answer of putting it. So, so Amy, yeah, thank you. Amy asked us, um, "What are our thoughts on women in craft beer?" That's her first part of her question. That's a pretty easy answer to to that. So I'm gonna let Heather uh, answer that one. You um, can start it with Queen of Hops since we already referenced it. <laughs> okay. Well, Queen of Hops was for those of you who don't know, uh, it was held in November, and um, it was a wonderful competition. There were about 60 entries, and um, women from all over the state, some in Brooklyn, some in Philly area. Erie, um, Pennsylvania, submitted. even. Massachusetts. Really? Massachusetts, yeah. Oh, yeah, Massachusetts, of course. Kristen, Our yeah. friends, Kristen Sykes. Um, they've, they submitted um, these wonderfully um, uh, crafted beers for the competition, and it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, the, the tasting was insane. It took several hours, and we were... Several hours is an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> they were great judges. We had um, Rebecca from Carton, Re Natalie Rebecca from, from Weyerbacher. Yeah. Tara Nurin. Tara, Tara Nurin, um, who runs Beer for Babes. The Rushing Duck. Uh, Nikki, from, uh, Nikki Rushing from Rushing Duck, Duck, which is a brewery in Orange County, New York, if you're heading that way. She also bartends at Copper Mine. Go visit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great event. We're going to definitely do it again. Um, that day is will be set at some point. It's usually in but late fall. Late fall. Might, might, might choose a different season, not sure. But women in craft beer, I mean, it's... Women in craft beer is no different than men in craft beer. You know, we love craft beer, we love tasting beer, and um, we're just trying to um, break down those stereotypes and invite other women to enjoy it too. And the more we do that, the more you're going to see f female brewers, and, like Gretchen um, that we mentioned before opening up her own brewery this time. Exactly. It's beautiful, you know. And it all starts with home brewing, as mm -hmm. you know, in most cases. Um, so we're here to support that. And um, it's definitely something that's growing significantly all across the country. And, you know, we want New Jersey to become one of, you know, a really great state for beer. It's in its infancy right now, but it's, as everyone knows, it's growing really strong. So, so that pretty much wraps it up. We just wanted to say thank you. Cheers to you guys for watching.